One of you has asked on my website explainingmaps.com to help with this past paper question which involves trigonometry, uh, circle theorems and calculating the length of arcs. So uh, before we start the credit goes to Cambridge examinations because this is their question. And you make sure to check my website as well explainingmaths.com if you have any maths questions. So what's going on here? They say R and T are points on a circle, the center is O and the radius is 5 centimeters. Yeah, and before we ask the question, let's uh, have a proper look at what is going on. So as you can see, R and T lie on the circumference of this circle, center O, radius is 5. Correct. PR and PT are tangents to the circle, and angle POT is 78. Now, that's important that these are from an external point tangents because the angle between a tangent and the radius is 90 degrees. I'm going to put that in my diagram, 90 degrees. The other thing that is important to realize, and those are the circle theorems, is that the length yeah, of those tangents from an external point are equal. Good. Let's find out what do they want from us. A thin rope goes from P to R around the major arc RT and then from T back to P. And we have to calculate the length. Okay, very nice. So we have a piece of rope and we goes from here around the circle and a major arc and then back to P. And we have to find out what is the length of it. Okay, so um, what do I need to find? If I find this length, which is equal to that length, so if I find the length of of this side, I'll multiply it by 2 because then I'll have both and I have to find the length of that major arc. Let me call that y. So I'm going to say that uh, my answer is going to be 2x uh, plus y. So 2 times that length plus y. Good. Now let's start with x. x is, look at that triangle there, the right angle triangle. So um, I'm going to sketch that here. One of those triangles, this angle is 78 degrees. 78 uh, we're looking for x and this is the radius 5 so how can i find x uh, with trigonometry and right angle triangles so i can say well the tangent of 78 degrees is the opposite over the adjacent huh? because if we sit in your angle we want to know uh, the opposite we have the adjacent so it's the tangent um, and therefore x equals 5 times the tangent of 78 degrees. Now I can work that out already, but then I'm going to get a lot of decimals. And I try to avoid that. So um, at this stage, I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to say 2x of 2 times 5 tangent of 78 degrees plus now I've still got to find out what y is. Okay, now y is a part of the circumference of the circle. That's the arc length. And which part of the circle? Well, this one is 78 degrees, so that angle here, let's call that theta, theta is going to be 360 degrees, eh? the amount of degrees in a full turn, take away 78, take away 78 degrees. So then you'll have left for theta 204 degrees, yeah? so that angle is 204 degrees. So how do you calculate the, the arc length, eh? so that part of the circumference? Well, the part of the circle you're interested in is 204 out of 360 degrees times the circumference of a circle, 2 pi r, and r is 5. There you go. And if you plug it in your calculator, you are going to get 17 pi over 3. And again, I'm going to leave that in, um, so that is why, by the way, I'm going to leave that in terms of pi for now, because if I plug it in my calculator, now I'm going to get a lot of decimals, and uh, I want to avoid those decimals, yeah? And I'm going to write that here, 17 pi over 3 equals. So let me check that. Um, I have two times uh, those two lengths. That's right, that's 1, that's 2. And I have that major arc over there. So that is going to be the length of the rope. Plug it in your calculator and uh, write down all the decimals first. Yeah, because you're going to get now a lot of decimals, write them all down, okay, that's, that doesn't cost a lot of time, and then once you have written it down, you correct with three significant figures, 74.8, 74, did I say 74, 64.8, uh, what is it, centimeters, yeah, it's centimeters, there you go, good, I hope that was useful, explainingmaths.com for all my resources, for free guys, so I hope to see you there, bye-bye.